Our French President Emmanuel Macron heads to Kiev after talks with Vladimir Putin in Moscow, where he offered Russia concrete security guarantees. During talks that aimed at discussing Moscow from uh, dissuading Moscow from invading Ukraine, the Russian president vowed to find a compromise. However, the few next steps in mediation for Emmanuel Macron could be tricky. Details of security guarantees offered by Macron to Putin have not been revealed yet. But remember, the U.S. had earlier outrightly rejected Russia's sweeping demands. According to the French presidency, one of the proposals offered by Macron in Moscow is on efforts to revive peace process in Kiev's conflict with Moscow-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine. But Ukraine has reiterated that it will not enter into a direct dialogue with Russian-backed separatists in Donetsk and Luhansk and will not make any concessions to its territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders. Meanwhile, ahead of his visit to Kiev, the French president lauded Zelensky for his composure in the time of conflict. Listen in. C'est qu'aujourd'hui, le président Zelensky est le président d'un pays aux frontières desquels il y a 125 000 soldats russes. Donc, oserais-je dire, ça rend nerveux. Et c'est un feu nouveau de ces derniers mois. Ça n'était pas tout à fait la réalité au début de l'année 2021. Je trouve que dans le concert des commentaires politiques internationaux, le président Zelensky fait, par fait partie de celles et ceux qui ont un grand sang-froid qu'il faut saluer. Ukraine, a former Soviet Republic, has expressed a desire for closer ties with the West and membership of the NATO alliance. Ukraine's foreign minister has warned Moscow against trying to split Kiev from its Western allies. The Ukrainian minister also vowed to fight if Russia imposes another phase of military conflict in the country. <laughs> не вдасться вбити клин між Україною та її партнерами. А це роблять зараз як Росія, так і проросійські політики у відповідних країнах, додаючи тиск з іншого боку. For more on this fast-moving story, our executive editor Paul Kishama Padie has sent us this report from Kiev. Well, diplomacy is an interesting game. While they both kept saying that we are on the same page, while President Joe Biden said that uh, there was never any doubt about Germany's commitment and it remains a firm NATO ally, and he said that if Russia invades Ukraine, that will spell the end of Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. And uh, Joe Biden, uh, uh, in a rhetorical flourish, even promised that he will ensure that end. But remember, the German leader, Chancellor Olaf Scholz, did not commit to ending uh, Nord Stream 2. And uh, Germany has uh, throughout adopted a softer approach towards Russia. Germany did not allow a NATO ally to send uh, German-made howitzers to Ukraine. Germany has not committed the kind of troops that other allies have committed to the region. And Germany uh, came in for uh, a lot of criticism when it offered 5,000-odd helmets to the Ukrainians. So the German approach has been softer. And Olaf Scholz went all the way to Washington to just convey that he stands, uh, and, and Germany stands by all its NATO commitments at the same time not making any promises on Nord Stream 2. So while they say they're on the same page, uh, I would say uh, there is work to be done there. Efforts to de-escalate will only begin once uh, uh once the Europeans, I believe, come with concrete proposals, uh, uh, the Russian side is showing willin willingness to walk uh, uh, the, the half the way. But remember, the Ukrainians have also yesterday spelt out their red lines and they've said that we will not agree to certain things and we will determine our foreign policy. Uh, the, the, uh, the Russian president has said that uh, if Ukraine tries to take Crimea militarily and joins the NATO, then the entire uh, Europe will be party to this war with Russia and there'll be no winners in, these war, uh, in this war. So de-escalation uh, uh, is, is, is not very much on the horizon at the moment. They are looking at finding uh, a common ground. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.